Good morning, guys. It's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher, and today I'm taking my oldest off to college in a couple hours. So first, I'm going to take my youngest to cross country practice, and so I'm real fast making up some homemade cinnamon rolls because life is always better, and you want to send your kids off with a happy treat. If you have kids who are heading to school this week, tell me what grade are your kids in what ages are they and where are they heading um, just elementary school middle school high school college are you done with kids we're gonna make some cinnamon rolls super fast go buckeyes here we go we're gonna make some we made yeah. some fruit salad which is my kids favorite good morning angela so glad to see you this morning and we're gonna make some homemade cinnamon rolls so let's get to work y'all want to say hi you want to say hi miss reagan she's about to go to cross country practice say good morning good you can go morning. wash your hands real fast Okay, she's gonna help me get these cinnamon rolls done fast, fast. Click the link in the video. Tell me where your kids are heading to this school year. Um, I have a seventh grader, a junior, and a sophomore. Um, and I'm taking my sophomore in college back today. This is homemade cinnamon rolls. All we're doing is we're taking a loaf of frozen bread dough that we have frozen overnight. I, I feel like I've showed this recipe to y'all so many times, but it's such a great recipe for back to school um, that, yeah, it's perfect. So she's gonna roll out the dough for me, and while she's rolling out the dough, I'm gonna go ahead and start everything we need for the cinnamon rolls. Sticky. You wanna roll or do you wanna do this job? Which one? Me this? So you're gonna mix together five tablespoons of sugar, two, three. And then three teaspoons of cinnamon. You have a sixth grader and a senior, Jennifer. I hope they have a beautiful year. Oh, enjoy that senior. They go so fast. You just started her first day of her senior year. Congratulations, Delores. Tiffany, you have a seventh grader and a second year of college. Tiffany, you and I have kids almost exactly the same ages. Good morning, freshman Tammy, a freshman in high school. So fun. You have one that's a senior and one that's starting seventh grade in kindergarten. Betsy, you are a busy mama. I bet you are exhausted most days, Betsy, aren't you? Two high school sophomores and one seventh grader this year. Tenth grader going back August 19th. Good morning, Starla. All three daughters out of college. Marla, you are at the most fun place. So I have to tell you that my challenge for y'all who are who have kiddos who are heading off is to enjoy whatever comes next that make this week and all the things you do at home a beautiful week so that we're not weepy. Um, I know that's my challenge for myself for sure. Can I hop in here and do this really fast? Yeah. Okay. I feel like it's so easy to get sad, but it's also really exciting because you never know what God has next for each of us. And so I try to tell myself that even though I'm sad that you're, you're growing up. You're done with kids. You're done with kids and you get to be like newlyweds, right? Is that what she says? What do you think, guys? Does <laughs> She's like, no, we're done with kids, so there's less work. That's what, we're not done though. I don't think you're ever done though. Once you have kids, you're kind of like a mom forever. That's just what happens. A grandmother. You can click the link in the video and a grandma, the They're best great, grandma, great. best. Yeah. You don't think I'll be the best? I will totally be the best grandma. You have a freshman in high school and one starting pre-K, a fifth grader, second grader, and last year home with your baby. Enjoy that sweet year. Those are the most fun. I loved kindergarten because they're old enough and preschool because they're old enough to be fun but not quite as exhausting as babies. Okay, so we're rolling out our bread dough as thin as we can. And again, this is just a loaf of frozen bread dough. You want to show them the dough that you can get? This is the Kroger brand. Um, you can also get public brand. Publix doesn't make it, I don't think, but Rhodes makes a really good one. And you want to roll it really fast out as far as you can. We're trying really hard to get this one. I'm trying to get it a little bit more. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take five tablespoons of softened butter. This is a whole stick, so I'm going to kind of guesstimate what I'm doing here. Um, basically, I'm going to use everything that didn't melt, and then I'll probably drizzle that on top at the end because really, you can't mess this up. Do you have your good little scraper thing? Reagan got this for making cakes, and it's amazing. 
Um, I didn't even think of it for this, but it's actually fantastic. We found it at Michael's on sale with a no, coupon. I think we got that at Michael's. Oh, did Auntie give you that? I don't know. I think I bought that for you at Michael's, I'm pretty sure, because it matched our kitchen. Okay, so once you've done that, man, it's actually fantastic for this. I'm gonna sprinkle this over. Actually, get that up area right there. Get a little bit more up there. Get a little more butter. You have a 12th grader and a very busy year, Leanne. Oh, Leanne, for those of you guys who have seniors, I will tell you, it was hard last year. I feel like it's harder this year sending my kiddo off. I sent him off today. I'll be going down to clean up his house. Um, he lives in a young life house that's kind of disgusting with boys. Here, get that fast. They're not gonna wanna watch you all day. Hang on, and we gotta scoot. Here, tell me go, right over there. Thing. So he lives in a house of 18, and his house is filthy. Get that butter. Okay, now scooch. Go. Okay, um, so I'm going down today to campus to clean up the house, give it a good deep clean. I'm going to steal his clothes. Um, Reagan's going to steal his clothes. I don't know what that means. We will say the hard part, last year was hard to let him go, but I think this year is even harder because I feel like I know um, we've had a great summer with him and I've just really enjoyed having him home. And I realized that my old, my middle will be going to college in two years. Y'all can just go ahead and pull out the puddles for me because I will be a big fat hot mess when that girl goes. There's something about a girl I think that's a little different than a boy. Um, and she's a sweetheart sometimes. And when this baby here goes right next to me, when this kid next to me goes, I will be the worst. Okay, Regan, I always have to remember which way do we roll? We roll this way, don't we? Uh -huh. So you want to roll them so that they're the longest way so you can get the biggest ones. And I'm actually afraid that we rolled these out so thick. I hope I did this right. That's good. Okay, now we need to get a... Okay, so we're going to pinch this together and we need to get a sharp knife. And we want to make it into nine. I like to use a serrated knife. Nine. I'm gonna show Wait, her. No, Wait, you have to cut off the ends. Okay, so we'll cut off the ends. Okay, go for it, kid. What? And make a slice. You want to get nine as your goal. Perfect. So just cut on where you just made. Don't cut your fingers. You got it here. You need a better one. Knife. Okay. Two. Don't cut my fingers off. Can I? Here. No, 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 no. Here. I okay. won't cut it. Here. Okay. So she's got to learn to go a little bit like this. Look, Regan. Look, babe. See how I'm doing it? did a good job though finding the pieces. Okay, so now we've got nine cinnamon rolls. And I'm gonna take her to cross country, come home and bake them. When she finishes running this morning, she's gonna have a nice big batch of cinnamon rolls, which makes her super happy. No. You don't love the cinnamon rolls? It makes Carolina happy. It makes Carolina the happiest. There we go. So we've got our nine in there. They will puff up a ton. They puff up really, really fast. Um, yeah, so there we go. You just kind of make them. They will puff up. Now what we're going to make is the... I'm actually going to go ahead because these two are kind of tiny. I'm going to stuff these in here. So a couple won't be perfect, but I don't want to waste them. So we're just going to tuck those in right there. You can click the link in the video to get the recipe. And then we're going to go ahead and make the powdered sugar frosting, which is so simple. All it is is a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And this is one of those recipes. I don't have a ton of recipes that I make. I make the things we love a lot. So I don't make tons and tons of different things all the time. I have like certain ones 
that I just love. I'm gonna use about a cup and a half because I like to have a little extra frosting. So a cup and a half of frosting, of, I'm sorry, powdered sugar. One and a half tablespoons of milk. Yeah. I added too much milk and a little bit of vanilla. And I will probably add a little more powdered sugar because I think I just did too much milk, but we'll see. And then to serve it for breakfast, I'm gonna serve it with this. My kids love fruit salad and fruit salad for them is like the bestest thing. Is there more yeah. Than yeah, I need sharper knives. They, the knives work okay, but yeah, I'm not, you we're good. Them in the, um... There we go. Where'd you get the cutting board? The cutting board I got, Alice, I got it from Pampered Chef forever ago and it is like one of those awesome things. So I'm gonna stick these in the oven. I will stick the cinnamon rolls in the oven for about Oh, probably about, uh, I think they cook like 15 minutes until they kind of get brown and yummy on top. Then I'll add the extra butter over top, add the powdered sugar, serve with these. We are good to go for our last meal before I take my college kiddo back to college. You guys, I just pray for all of you all who are taking kids back to school. I am trying to remind myself that I'm sad, but I'm also excited for them. And I'm excited for what's coming next for me too. Like. There's, we've got some big projects here. I'm hatching a penny pincher that I haven't had time to do this summer and they're coming in the next like six weeks. So they're super exciting. And so I'm sad that they're heading off to school, but I'm also excited because I can't do all of the other fun things that God has for me even when they're home. Not that, does that make sense? So God has cool stuff for us. So I pray for you that if you are a mom who's kind of sad and weepy and a little bit just bummed that your kiddos are heading out, that you will figure out that God has something fantastic for you too, even in this season, which I think sometimes it's easy for us just to be sad and missing our kids, which is so important. But I think also be excited about whatever God has for you come in next. Thank you so much, Eviana. You have a third and first grader starting on the 19th. Madeline, I am praying a beautiful year for your third and first grader. I am so excited for them and I know they're going to have a great year. I'm excited for my kids. Love your shirt, Lynn. Thank you. We're heading down to the Buckeyes to go send off my son to be a Buckeye this year. To cut the dough, use unflavored dental floss. I've heard that and I need to try that for sure. Marcia, thank you for saying truth. I just think we get so caught up in our kids as moms and I think we forget that God has this awesome purpose for us, which includes being a mom, but also can include so many other things. So I want us to be excited about what God has for us. So I encourage you moms, um, I am so thankful that God has given me an opportunity to be able to be a mom and do something else too. And I know God has that for you too. You're struggling. Let me see. Let's Christy, go. you said you're struggling with the idea that your daughter will leave for college in two years. You know what? I have my, when my girl goes in two years, I'll be a hot mess. Y'all better know that I will be coming up with some big passionate penny pincher products. Cause when our girls leave, there is something super hard about that. You just dropped your off daughter. Oh, Jennifer, you dropped off your kindergartner and your second grader. Kindergarten is the hardest year to drop them off. I know that she is going to have, she or he will have a great year. So, um, yeah, be encouraged y'all. God has an awesome plan for our kids and also for us each day, which is so fun. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm going to go drop off my one kiddo at cross country. Then we'll come home, take my oldest back to college, which will be good. It's good. It's all good. And it means less laundry, right? I mean, let's be honest, less laundry, a little less stress, but not really. Y'all have an amazing day. Um, uh, you have a sophomore, sixth grader in kinder. Your baby is starting kindergarten. You're so welcome, Sarah. Definitely be encouraged. You have an awesome plan for you today. Y'all have an amazing day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.